So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome to a Backrooms horror game experience created by Puppet Combo, probably one of the most appropriate developers for this type of game. Alright, now let's back it up a little bit because I'm sure some people are going to be seeing what the freak is the Backrooms. Right now, you're seeing the image that started the whole craze of the Backrooms and now we've landed ourselves here at a fully fledged horror game. If you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the Backrooms where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow and endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum. Bus. Now that is a small portion of text quoted alongside the unsettling image you just saw on your screens right now. Now what excites me most about that is how someone was able to develop a fully fledged horror experience just from that simple snippet and one single picture. And the only way we go ahead and find out is by diving straight into this. The tape was inserted, the story begins. Puppet Combo creates a brand new horror experience, huh? these FMV shots giving us the establishments of the place, you know what I'm saying? Office buildings galore. What the freak might that be? Feathers? Torn up paper? I don't even know. I got going down to the subway. Get the freak out of there, man. Why are you so low down there, bro? Hold up. What does one make of this, right? It's gotta mean something. Who knows, dude? It just cuts like that! Day one? Uh... Yo, it just cuts straight to the gameplay after the first sequence right now. And we're in an elevator. Alright, before we get in the elevator, hold up a sec. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to day seven. This is a Backrooms horror game experience, as said before, created by Puppet Combo. Short intro, we already know the deal with this guy's games, and if you don't, well, you're in for a big surprise. I don't know if we'll do this in one or two parts, but guys, look, look at this like button here, you see that? Yeah, that part's coming real soon. I couldn't finish it all. Don't worry, tomorrow's another day. Maybe if I come in at six, get a few hours of work done before the office fills up, I'll grab dinner on the way home. God, it's already Thursday. I just need more time. Someone want to hear that. I'm already on thin ice. 22 years here. For what? My guy is reflecting right now. So he probably exit out. Okay, he's exited out. Frame rate looking a little low. And I've heard that this is apparently how the game is meant to feel. Ooh, tank controls. Interesting. So pressing A and D rotates the camera. Okay, so we only really need to... Oh, bro, get the free camera! <laughs> so, you gonna start the conversation or, uh, you know, because you kind of got in my face first. So, you know, you're obliged to talk first. Late night again? Yeah, this new account is killing me. You missed a great game. Hey, don't tell me a thing. With any look at the VCR recorded at this time. Fat chance. My son came over to set it up. Anyways, I'll see you. Get home safe. I'll try. All right. Well, where the freak is the security guard at, though? Yo, he's gone. It is 10 past 10. I presume PM as well? Get the freak out of this place then, man. Exit the building? Sure thing! We have no reason to stick around. We've got those Resident Evil 2 style transitions. Dude, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this game? Uh, okay, let me retract that statement. Yo, what is wrong with this place? Why is the city feeling so dangerous right now? I don't at least see anything wrong. So, here we go. We're heading home, guys. This is our walk. And this is the ambience the game tries to set for the mood. Oh, hold up, I don't like that. Guys, this game gives you... A look behind feature, look at that. So as you're running away, I can see what's behind. So the subway is the other way. Well, it's your memory that's serving you bad, clearly. This is your experience with this story. So if it's the other way, it's gonna be across the road, right? Check in my left, check in my right. Not a single car in what looks to be a fairly decently bustling city, right? We've got a lot of developments around here. You'd think there'd at least be one or two people around. Check over my shoulder, let me just see. Ain't no one nearby. So, okay, what is this? We've got a sail on there. They want out of this town. No business, clearly. Maybe the whole point of this is to explore around somewhat. We've got to find the right way through this. Can see, the subway's the other way. Your memory is poor today, my guy. And this way, check there. And it's neither of those, so it must be maybe the other street we didn't check? Unless it's this right here. Can we just see? This does descend. This is our subway here. We was close. Whoa, who the freak is this dude? Repent, sinners. Repent. The end is near. The time for forgiveness is running out. You over there. Me? Will you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Uh, wow. Bless you, child, for accepting the Lord. Our time in this world is coming to an end. All right, thank you for the insight. And, uh, yeah, why are you out at, like, midnight, you know? Okay, I'm going down to the subway, man. I don't like this mess. Wow, look at how crappy this thing looking. I need to use a coin on one of these or something. Unless maybe only one of them's open. Wait, they're all sealed up. Can I cut around the side maybe? I'm a cheapskate. Insert token. Yes. Thank you very much. Look, I'm jogging down. I don't know what time the last train is. I want to make sure I actually reach the station before anything is leaving. Oh, I see no trains. Now, either I missed it or I'm a smidgen earlier than usual. Let's check down the tracks. Nothing that side, nothing that side either. Also, don't you dare jump into the tracks. What the freak are you thinking? Hold on, let me go out this way. Maybe we can uh, get over to the other side of the platform. 
Oh, dude, I'm here in a train plot. We better be quick. Better catch the train. Oh, crap. I'm on the other side. Could you spare some change, boy? Uh, sure. God bless you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, I'm about to miss my train. I gotta go. Down the stairs, down the stairs. Down the stairs. Train right there. Hop on. Woo! Just about making it. Okay, like we got this carriage all to ourselves as well. Take a seat, my dude. Chill out. Can't open any of the doors. Must be just us then. Taking the night ride. Check this door here. Again. Nothing. Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother you. Is this the train for the 59th Street? Yes, just a few more stops. Oh, thank God. The first bit of luck I've had all day. It's been a rough one. Let's just say it's been a rough month. I just moved here. A big move? Huge. I'm a small town girl. What brings you to the big city? Fame, fortune, adventure. I'm a living cliche. <laughs> Have you found it? All I found is a dead rat in my hamper and a creepy neighbor who won't leave me alone. Well, I guess you'll have to keep looking then. Tell me about it. Must be a late night in the office for you. Is your wife waiting patiently at home? Not these days. It didn't work out. What happened? Too many late nights at the office. W with your secretary? <laughs> with my file cabinet and a pot of coffee. Well, this is my stop. So soon? Unfortunately, it was nice to talk to you. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, stranger. Didn't even ask her name. Seemed pretty genuine, though, but... Shame to hear about the wife and things not working out. It was nice to talk to you. Take care. Have I really become that pathetic? I couldn't even get her number? Well, she was half my age. It couldn't be right. She would have been my daughter. Wait, hold up a second. Uh, this gate. Can I go through it? I can't go through that way. Yeah, this is the thing about puppet combo horror games, though. They give you a very grungy look at how life can be sometimes. It's not always the good scenario, no. We're not going home to a family with three kids, dinner already on the table. All right, this side, fortunately, is not sealed up. Let's get out of this grungy old subway. I hate to see what my pop. Um... Yo, dude, we wasn't careful enough, and we just clipped through reality. Oh, crap, we're already in the back rooms. Uh, hold up. What the hell is this? Am I having a stroke? That smell, like a wet carpet. Hello, can anyone hear me? Is anyone there? Help! What's going on? No one responding. Dude, we fell into the back rooms. Oh, my gosh. It just throws us straight in this situation, and I have no idea what's going on. But that's the point of the back rooms, right? Check these corners out here. Very barren. Look at this. It's just blank, open office space. This is what happens when you fall into the back rooms, guys. You don't know exactly where you're at at any point. And that is exactly the point of the back rooms. So we tread this carpet, the wet smell seeping quite clearly through our nostrils, and we just end up inhaling that bullcrap. What the freak? Everything just changed up. Hold up. Do I see anything? Check that way. I'm not sure what to make of this. Let's go this way, maybe? I have to stay calm. If I panic, I'm not going to figure this out. For sure. Uh, yo. Nothing jump me, please! Bro. What the freak? There's a static buildup. I can hear, like, breathing, maybe? I, th I think, anyway. Hang on a second. This Do I go to the origin of it? I feel like I should for some reason. I've got to find something other than just myself. Last thing I remember was walking up the stairs on the way home. That is what the last thing was. Oh, crap. Dude, dry blood? What the hell is going on? We are not alone here. Or maybe we are now. Yo, there's more blood on the floor here. More blood. Is this a trail? This is. This is leading us somewhere right now. So we've got to go down this way. <sighs> okay, nothing jumping out. What is this on the wall here? What is that? Um, yo, a bit too close to the nostrils right there. The freak. Look at it. Touch it. That girl in the train, did she do something to me? A drug? No, I still have my wallet. It's a mask stuck to the wall. Should I take it off? Maybe if I had something to pry it with. So not today. You hear that noise like coming in louder as well, guys? We ain't going that way. We gotta find a way to get to that noise source. This is the thing though, look at this. You see the wall? It's a different color. If we find something that we can use to, I guess, get the mask off, that will help us out and it'll probably aid us on our adventure. So we've gotta backtrack somewhat. We've gotta try and find something maybe. Maybe that homeless guy. What about him? Are you still thinking about stuff like that? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking. Hold up. What is this? Okay, a screwdriver. Pick it up. Yes. We take that. And we get back to the mask. Will that lead us to freedom, you know? Will it lead us to where we want to go? Back at the mask. So, click on it again. Use it. We've got to do it. There's no point waiting. Full straight off. Just have to keep walking until I find something. How big can this place be? So, can I do anything with the mask? Now that I'm carrying the mask, though, will something change? Like, go to the wall? Nothing there. Wait, the mask is on the floor there. The mask is hanging on the wall. Too heavy to pick up. So why did we do that? There's nothing- Oh wait, a hole in the wall. Look through. Yes? Oh god. Oh god. Please don't be anything there. Or so be kind. Hello? There's an officer. Hold up. Officer? I need help! No. He's on that Blair Witch level ball crap. Officer, over here. Are you okay? 
crap, he's dead. Seems like the blood was completely drained from his body. His gun is gone too. There's another passageway behind this wall. The hole is too small. It must be some kind of sick game. They put people in here for what? Entertainment? Dude, I don't want to do this. I'm getting tears in my eyes. The way Puppet Gumbo does these games. <laughs> Guys, I'm not joking. Can you see my eyes right now? This is intense. Listen, one way in this mess. There's no way out. The wall is split in two. Go through it. Go through it. Dude, it, it's just taking control from me. I can't do anything. I, I don't understand. Can I? Okay, someone there. Now I can control it again. Oh my God. Someone or something is there. Do I jog? There's somebody watching me. I can feel that. Is it the camera? I don't see anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that noise? It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. Is there any way here? Dude, I'm freaking out. This is really, like, scary. I don't know why. It's just so still. Wait, run, run. Keep going, keep going. Just keep running. To the source of the noise or away? Play dumb. Don't let them know you have any idea. Maybe he's in here. I thought I heard something. What? What the heck? Guys, there's another noise source. There's another noise source. What the freak is that? Guys, what the freak is through there? Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's someone watching us right there. You see that? What the hell is that? Can I not interact with it? Yo, I stand back. I don't trust that. What if he has... I've read the story in high school. The most dangerous game. I don't know where I'm going. I really don't know where I'm going at all. I really hope no one's in here, like, following me. They could be right ahead. I could be running into them right now and I'd have no idea. Is somebody really hunting me here? Why me? Wouldn't they want somebody younger? A guy with money? I don't think it matters like that. Oh my gosh. This is so claustrophobic. It's just uneasy. This is too still. My son will report me missing. But how long will it take? The subway had to have had cameras. Yeah, what must have that look like when that guy went missing? Something crazy must have happened as a result. Oh, into the darkness. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting somewhere else. It's just a big open room. There's nothing really more here. <laughs> Yo, I heard that! Somebody must have seen something. Did it happen in the subway or did I make it to my apartment? Someone else here. It sounded like a little girl, maybe. Or maybe just a woman. I'm not sure. Where could she be? <gasps> There's like an FMV here. So, we found someone, right? Who is it? Hello? Did they respond back? <laughs> they just laugh and look at us. Hold up. Hey! Wait, don't be afraid, I'm not going to hurt you. Where are your parents? She says nothing. Your parents? Where are your parents? Answer me, goddammit. She just laughs. I didn't mean that. I'm not going to hurt you. What is your name? Where are we? What is this place? Yo, what the freak is behind me? The bad man is coming. You better hide. Wait! I'll find you again later. I know the way out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Dude, where do I run? This one else the tree in here with me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm running from, but just keep going. Just keep it moving. I don't know what happens if we get caught. I can hear croaking, but I see absolutely nothing. I don't know if something truly is following us. She's our key out of here, though. Why is she in here if she knows the way out? Like, is this just a game to the little girl? What up? Yo, what the freak is happening? I'm locked out. I think it's gone. I'm starting to feel weak. Is there a safe place to rest? No. There is no safe place to rest. Well, this is as good of a spot as any. If something comes around the corner, I'll be able to spot it. So, wait. Are we stuck in this world? Do we not get access to go back to like the real world? How big is this building? It has to be close to an exit. Am I moving deeper into it? I can't tell. Seems like there's another area behind the walls. It smells damp. I could feel the moisture on my face. Making a hole in the wall? No, it's too strong. Like there's a sheet of iron reinforcing it. I need to find water. This whole place is so familiar. It's like I've been here before. I know I've been here before. Just like that. My guy must have fell asleep. Ah, uh, yo, why am I seeing a coffin right now? Uh, wait, is that me? I have no idea. No one turned up, huh? Maybe this is the fate that awaits us at the end of this mess if we don't figure this out, right? Maybe this is just a hint in terms of the chaos that truly can happen if you don't escape the back rooms, but how will our body be discovered as a result, right? Wait, oh wait, we get control. Terence, where's your bother? I don't know, mum. Tuck your shirt in. This isn't the playground. I know, mum. Come here, baby. I know you're sad about your cousin. We'll pick something up for you guys on the way home. Okay, mum. So do we go and maybe see the coffin? Let's see. The casket. I'm not getting too close to it. All right. Let's go out of this place and I guess leave the door we came through. Maybe we can. That's great. Maybe this door here. Hey, Terence. Let's play hide and seek. No, you know mum's going to be mad. Don't be a chicken. No, Malcolm. Come on. There's a whole bunch of empty rooms back here. Just follow me. Ooh. This 
is our first encounter with the back rooms then. So, playing hide and seek. Do I want to be going back here? This back room's just locked, so we don't go that way. Okay, that door opening sound, I don't want to remember that bullcrap, dude. So there's one right way through here. It's another funeral home. Oof. Look how far back this place goes. Hey, Tara, it's back here. We were shy. This one here. Don't you dare jump me, kid. Don't you dare jump me! It's locked. It's gotta be the other side then. Has to be here. It is. Oh my gosh. Yo, Terrence, can we finish up playing now? I, I don't want to play. There he is! Damn it, Malcolm. Don't jump out on me like that. You really are a chicken. No, I'm not! Okay, look. We're gonna play hide and seek. You hide, I'll seek. Come on, then. There's dead people back. What the freak? Malcolm, I'm going to count to ten. You better start hiding. Um, okay. One Mississippi. This way here. Uh, he's counting out loud. We have time to hide. Let's go back here. <sighs> okay, four Mississippi. Can we open this door? Go, 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 go. He's still counting. Eight Mississippi. Malcolm's coming! I don't want to find anybody, so... Right, he's coming. Ready or not? Here I come! Keep moving through, I guess. I don't want to go too far back. This place... This shouldn't be this way. It's locked. We go the other side here. Here we go. How dark in this is, dude. Wait, what the freak? I've already been through here before. Um... Yo, these doors are already open. Like, I've been... Treading through this place. Look at this. Malcolm, you win! I'm chicken, blah, blah, blah! Just come out! I don't know where I am! Malcolm? You played your game. Please... Give us something, right? Try this door. That one won't open. Malcolm! Where are you? I'm going in circles! Yeah, this is a really bad place to get lost. We got lost at a funeral party. What did we see? Yo, who is that? I don't know what we're seeing right now. There's someone else here. We're not alone. Hold up a second. Oh, it's locked. Do we find the guy? Do we avoid it? I'm kind of weirded out. Dude, can we see it? Oh my god! Ah! Christ. It was just a dream. I need to find a way out of here. I'm getting weaker. Just need some water. Day two begins. Like I said, Puppet Combo does things the way they want to do things, but if you look at this place now, it's changed a lot. Everything seems a lot more blurry. It's almost somewhat euphoric when it really shouldn't be. Hey, what's this right here? What is that? A change purse? Full of coins. I can use this to leave a trail where I've been. I can drop a coin by pressing the right bumper. There are a lot of coins. I can drop as many as I want. I still need to find some water. Okay, so we press this button here to drop a coin. Yay! It's a strange button to press over the other side of the keyboard, to be honest. Where are we even trying to go? I need to drop coins as we go through here. Okay, so we could go this way. Already, I'm seeing... That doesn't sound right. What is that sound? I have no idea. It's like... Noise. Do you want to get closer to the sound? This wall, hold up, is it different? It is, but I can't interact with it. Keep dropping the coins. This is a smart mechanic, though, so you know where you're going the whole time. Let's see, no other way there. Do we want to get to the origin of the crackly noise, or do we want to avoid it? So that's the thing. If you're in the back rooms, you really don't know what's going on. What is it? What do we see? I need water. Yeah, I know you need water, but we don't got none. I'm trying to find some, but to get it. The freak, this wall glitching out. We're no clipping through it right there. Yo, I'm going to put a mirage of coins along here. It's so dark, I can barely see anything. Oh god. Yeah, this is the back rooms breaking up slowly now. This place glitching up. We're no clipping through this mess. But where do we go as a result? This room here is different. Hang on. There's something else beyond here. If I could get past this wall. Go through it. No clip through it, man. Come on. What can he do? He's got to no clip through that wall. It's very important to progress. Let's try this way here. There's nothing. This wall is well. just piecing in and out of reality. Like, make your mind up. Well, this is a break in the back room stuff. We find a way out. Let's check this way. This is the way we haven't actually searched. Might be. Look, it just leads round. Follow the coins all the way back. What are we looking for then? I can hear music coming from like a different origin point. So I'm not sure if we should follow that. We no clip through here, so it's like this is a checkpoint. Let's lay some coins. Let's go this way here. Okay, and that quickly led to an absolute blank room. So here's my strat. I'm making the trail that's more important have a lot of coins. And I'm going to use like less coins when we trade off into different areas like this here. So then we know, you know, where we've been, but which didn't serve as any importance. Right, now the music. It does feel like I'm getting closer to it somewhat. So, maybe we'll continue on through here. Wait, hold up, this loops back around to a point we've already been at. You see this? Wait, hold up. This is different. Uh, definitely keep playing music. What the freak is that buzzing? It's right here. What is this? Uh, I don't like this. Bugs, so many bugs. So, dude, they gotta be eating stuff. Am I really considering eating them? A good source of protein, right? Oh wait, I was joking! My guy is ravenous. Ah, they bite! Yeah, as do you! No wonder they bite back. It burns! What kind of bugs are they? Are they poisonous? What is this? Look, it's like an elevator or something. I ain't taking no rides through there. I've already fallen and clipped through enough walls, so yeah, skip that. Okay, so finally getting closer 
to this. Wait, there's a door in the back rooms? Can we open this thing? It's locked. Could this be an exit? Maybe. Okay, hang on, some more elements of, like, office based things. Let's try and find a way to this noise source. So we've got to see what is playing music and why. What does this say here? Exit is ahead. Keep north. I don't know if I trust that. I'm going to be honest. That doesn't seem right. Someone else could have wrote that. You know, him. Whoever that may be. I guess I'm going to... Wait, we come to a crossroads. I'm not going to make it much longer. Let's try and find the origin of this noise. Maybe that will help us out. Okay, this is... Oh my god, look at that. Right there, we see the dude. What is that? Yo, we got Slenderman still pissed. Yo, run! Oh my god. Dude, still dropping coins. Still dropping coins. It said keep north, right? This is gonna be north? Maybe. Oh boy. Dude, he's right there, he's right there. How do I get around him? Look, he's just gonna keep stalking us though, right? I gotta wait for him to come close and then do this after. Guys, look at him. He looks like Slenderman! Okay, came this way here. The room's flicking back out. Wait, are we back? Is he still stalking us though, even despite that? Let me try and go this alternate way here. Maybe this will lead like a better route. My guy is literally following us though, through the back room. So something else does live here. All right, we're keeping walking. I'm just dropping as many coins as I physically can. This purse fortunately has that infinite ammo good stuff, but it doesn't matter. All we do is move further and further into this mess. Granted, we can find our way back, but is this all real good, you know? Okay, it's an element from before, right? It's the chapel, an old organ. See, what else do we want to do, though? We can see the back rooms falling around us, literally. Like, everything is just slowly decaying more and more. I think my body is shutting down. More books. Yo, you want to take a snack on these guys? Yeah, oh, our vision's going a bit weird. This is difficult to control. Follow the coins back. It's one thing we can keep going. Following the coins. Yes, we just keep moving forward, right? There's a lot of books here, dude. This room. What about this here? We can get through. What is this? Uh... Freak. What is this? I can't... What even is that? Is that like something from memory? I can't even look at that. I don't know what it is. Okay, there's a cut space back here. There's another one. It's like machinery or something. Keep laying the coins as we go through here, but this is not good, guys. This is really not good. Well, there's another way we could go back here. Completely missed this one. Let's throw the coins down. Where might this one lead us? It's definitely a different route. Wait, we can observe through into the back rooms. Like, we're seeing the break and where they end. That's an interesting thing to see. Wait, hold up. Can we maybe break out of here. Ooh, we drop a lot of coins as we walk forward. Are we moving? I don't really understand. Hold up. It's our way back into the back rooms. That the wall just seals behind us, but we broke out for a little bit. Yeah, I can officially not see where I'm going. Uh, okay, that looks like progression this way here. <sighs> yeah, I'm too weak. I can't walk anymore. I just want to fall asleep. And that we do, we just drop off straight away. Dang, this back rooms thing is horrific for our character. So what now? Wake up. Hey, are you okay? Hello? Ugh, here, drink this. The, bro, did he just unzip his foot? Hold up a second! Can you stand? Yeah, here, let me help you. Stranger helps us up. Yo, nice sneakers. Let me help you up. Okay, dude, it's a female. Why am I doing this? <laughs> the voice stays. Day three. We're not the only ones trapped in the back room. There is more people out here. Look at that, she's prepared. You don't look so good. No crap, lady. I was almost dead meat. I'm Sally. Terrence, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Well, I couldn't just let you die here. Where is here? I was hoping you knew. You're stuck here too? Were you walking up the stairs at 23rd Street Station? 23rd Street Station? When you fell in here? No, I'm from Utah. I was camping with my friends. What? We were hiking, and the next thing I knew, I'm falling. Then I ended up here, alone. So you fell in here? When were you camping? Yes, thank God I have all my supplies. Enough food and water for another day or two. And after that, well, let's hope someone rescues us after that. Rescue? Whoever put us in here is playing some kind of sick game. Well, we have no choice but to play along for now. Have you seen the old man? W what old man? He's been stalking me since I've been here. He has long fingernails. I haven't seen anyone. There's also a girl, a little girl. She said she knows the way out. Did she tell you where? No, she ran away. We need to find her unless the man got her. I know, I sound crazy, but the whole situation's crazy. It really is. Let's keep moving. You're pretty weak. Maybe you should rest up and wait for help. We can't. It's too dangerous in here. Do you have anything to protect yourself? Just my pocket knife. Well, it's better than nothing. Come on. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. Okay, well, let me just take a look. Yo, Sally, where the freak are you? Sally! Dang, dude, as we turn, she must be turning ahead too. Now, don't ask about the infinite coin situation, Sally. It's a uh, strange gift I got from a friend, okay? No more questions needed. So I continue to drop the mirage of coins just as I did before. Look, above us now, the ceiling is gone. So which way do we want to explore first? This looks like cuts off into a small point here. It's gotta be the way where we see the openings more so. We just keep following that, and that's all we gotta keep doing. It's all the same. Not quite. We just need to find what we're looking for. 
What are we looking for? There's more to this place than just this. Behind the walls is another section. It's different. It's metallic. It's like a back room. If there's an exit to this place, that's where it is. Sally didn't respond more. That means she kind of believed us, which is a good sign. Look at this. We're already seeing these different elements. Like, what is this on the floor there? Some text. Can we read this? If you're not careful and you know club out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but stink of old moist carpets, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background. Noise of fluorescent lights, maximum humbuds, and approximately 600 million square miles miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell hid you. What the hell does that mean? It means you're not alone. It just confirms some of your worst fears. Come on, Sally. Let's keep going back here. Ooh, this place busting up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bugs down there. Don't look at them. But look, now the floor is like caving in. Like running water or something that way. It's gotta be something, right? Hear the music going a bit trippy too? I don't like that. Interesting, look, there's lots of observing rooms now. Whoever was watching us before, they're still doing so. Uh, yo, that better be a stuffed body. It feels like reality is bending. Maybe we're getting near the center. I think it's the opposite. The center holds this place together. The further away you move, the more discombobulated it gets. Maybe we should turn back then. No, there might be an opportunity to slip through into the other section. The metallic section? Yes. Dude, we had this conversation in front of this body right here, and we don't even comment on this thing. Gotta keep going, look at that. Grunge is looking down from the walls. All these bodies. The office space is breaking right in front of us. I don't feel anything from that office music, I'm gonna be real. Like, look at this slope, man. I've gotta go down here. I can't go any other way. It doesn't make sense. This office space does not make any sense whatsoever. Yo, what is that? It's like, you can see through the floor. It's like mirrored or something. We do not go down there. Or wait, do we gotta? I think we have to. Wait. Wait, something's talking. There's another voice. Yo, do I wanna go this way here? Oh, man. This is where stuff starts to break. Reality is slipping from underneath our feet. And it just goes, wait a minute. I've been here before. This is the start. This is where it all started. It's a big loop. Are you sure? Absolutely positive. There's no way back. Okay, calm down. Let's rest. We've come a long way. You don't look so well. Let's start a fire and eat something. We'll camp. A fire? Like a campfire. I tried to burn my way out of here. It doesn't work. The walls don't react to it all. But on the plus side, the fire is warm. Sounds crazy now. Trust me on this. We need some wood. I used the chair last time. There's a chair close by. I can get it and bring it back. Great. I'll set up the camp. All right, Sally. Bear with us. We'll go ahead and find this chair. I'm just going to hope reality doesn't break too much under our feet. This game is captivating. It really is. I love the way Bobby Combo does these takes. Now, where is this chair? Where might it be? I didn't remember seeing any chair, but my character did, so... The little girl is nearby again. Yo, little girl? Come on, you said you knew the exit. Let's all get out together, right? Okay, the chair's there, but my guess is she's working for the creepy old man, right? First of all, wood chair has been moved. Take it. Yes. Give me that good stuff. Uh, where it goes, don't ask questions. Wait, blood, again. We saw this before. Listen, I'm not even going to investigate anymore. We know how twisty and windy this place is. So we make it back to Sally, we get this campfire going. But maybe I should explore more. The little girl was laughing in this direction and she knows the exit. If I could tell Sally that, maybe we could work together on this. Come on guys, yeah, she's nearby. I'm going a little further this way. Little girl, come on. Am I here to hurt you? I'm here to help you as much as you're potentially here to help me. There's blood on the floor. We're retracing our steps, so yeah, this is all from the past. Okay, now I do recall this. I'm trying to think now. I think this is the way I came through. It, oh, it couldn't have been. This is really trippy. There's the mask on the wall. It's all coming back to me, slowly but surely. Where was the little girl from this point on? Where was she? Wait, wait, wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, this has got to be further. Now, one thing I've been thinking, though, is what about if she's tricking me to bring me further away from Sally? What about if this is, like, the whole point? Guys, I think I'm going to go back to Sally. I feel like the girl is just moving positions every single time. Now, I've just got to make sure the breadcrumbs trail that I left actually does take me back. She's here. Hey, where have you been? Are you okay? Cut the crap. It's not cute. It's dangerous in here. Shut up. You're not my daddy. I don't have time for games. Do you know where the exit is? I need to know. I'm not telling. I'm not alone anymore. There's a nice lady named Sally with me too. We won't hurt you, but I do need you to come with us and show us the exit. Don't touch me. I'm telling my daddy. Daddy! Come back, you little brat. Damn it. Yo. Her dad is probably the dude with the long fingernails. All right, I'm going to follow my trail all the way back to Sally. Maybe we got to tell her. Sally? So she set the tent up. Hey, you got the wood? Yeah, I saw the little girl again. What did she say? You hear that? No, what? She's watching us and laughing. She wouldn't show me the exit. Okay, well, let's work out on the fire. Okay, so at least we've got some warmth. See that in the back? You have a family? Yeah, they must be freaked out. My friends too. Well, hopefully they're looking for you. Not that it'll do much good here. You, what about your family? I have a son. It might be a few months before he realizes I'm gone. And my job? I guess I'm fired. Why don't we rest? We'll try to loop around again tomorrow. Maybe find the way out this time. 
Good idea. And thank you for saving me. Well, I wasn't going to just leave you here to die. I thought I wanted that. To just go to sleep and let everything drift away. But now I do want to get out of here. I want another shot. Maybe. I can do things better this time. And with that said, we both drift off. <laughs> Sally? Dude, what the frig was that? An explosion. What is that sound? It sounds like someone's eating something. Yo, follow my breadcrumb trail. Oh, I don't like this. Yo, dude. The old man. Oh my gosh. He got Sally, right? My gosh, dude. Look at that. Rampant. What did you do? Shut up. Sally? I'm going to drink your blood. And I'm going to eat your eyes. Yo, do I run? What the freak? Sally. Her clothes are ripped off. He ate her eyes. Yo, what am I doing? Booyah. Attack or run? Keep running, I guess. I don't really know what else to do. So this guy is stalking us down now in the back rooms. I'm going to eat you. What can I use to defend myself? I still have a screwdriver. Oh crap. I gotta use this in if I need to. Die! I gotta attack him! No choice. Ah! Missed? Wait, my guy had the gun. From the officer. He was the one that did it. Wait, what's this down here? A mask. Do we... Wait, we place it on our face? Why? What does this give us the ability to do? Go through these walls? No, what? Why did we put the mask on? What were we thinking when we did this? What does it show us? Where are you? So the stranger is still alive despite everything. His back is turned. I didn't even get a choice this time. Look at that, we're sneaking up behind him. <laughs> day five, so wait, it cut a day, right? Because it should have been day four? No. We're going crazy. You hear that? If that's not us talking, that's us going crazy. Hungry. Look at this, we're slumped down there. Yo, my guy in the corner. It's Slenderman 2.0! Thirsty. What the freak are we- Dude, why are we talking? We're pretending to talk witchcraft and we have no idea what we're doing. Day 6 commences shortly after. We really lost it. Yo. What the freak? Alright, so I think I'm called Pegleg right now. And it just goes straight over to day 7. The mask, it did something to us. Look, we're still wearing it. It's consumed us. This is why you want to get out of the back rooms, man. You know clip out of reality. This is where you end up. Still know the morals. Hello? Is anybody out there? Oh no, dude, don't do it. Please don't tell me you just gave in to the back rooms. You wanted to find that escape so badly. Keep dropping the breadcrumbs trail for ourselves. Maybe selfishly. What is it with the mask? I need help! Where am I? Where's my family? Another FMV? Yo, don't say you went bad. Hello? She's calling out for help. We don't respond. Somebody help me, please! I'm lost! Yo, it looks like you went swimming. Were you jump in the war and this is where you ended up or something? Is anybody there? We're not responding. We're hearing her cries. Don't say... Oh my gosh. He succumbed to it. Look at that! <laughs> if you know Klepata reality... You lose everything, guys. You lose every sense of reality to in here. And that's what happens as a result. My gosh. Well, a very interesting take on the whole Backrooms experience, and this is why I love it when Puppet Combo actually has the ability to make these sort of games. He has such a unique take on the way things are portrayed. As you can see, we had this optimism for like the first maybe three or four days, but the moment we lost Sally, because she was kind of our savior, she was giving us the hints, that was enough. We don't know much more about the little girl, though. That's one thing I'm still trying to think about, and also the guy with the long nail. So I wonder what significance they had. Anyway, though, guys, this is where we're gonna leave everything here, and you know what? I'm gonna let this lovely smooth jazz music plays out in the background okay so peaceful and so appropriate but if you guys did enjoy this video why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one <laughs>